Keto is one of the most popular diets in America right now. And for good reason. It works. As of this video, I've been keto strong for two years and counting. And this is the best I've ever felt. But as with anything new, if you're starting keto for the first time, expect to make lots of mistakes. In this video, I'll cover the three most common mistakes made and how you can avoid making them. Also, be sure to stick around until the end where I discuss one mistake even keto veterans like me are guilty of making. Hi, I'm Mark and you're watching Keto Crush, your channel for eating healthy, feeling great, and looking hot. Do me a flavor and crush that like button. And be sure to subscribe so I can keep the keto content coming week after week. Mistake number one, trusting labels. Never, ever trust labels. This applies to whether you're on keto or not. I once took my daughter to a lemonade stand looking to buy her a simple cup of lemonade. Lemonade, as you know, should only have three ingredients, water, sugar, and lemons. It's not keto by any means, but neither is my daughter. To our disappointment, the lemonade was from a local big box store, and it was made of a long list of hard to pronounce artificial ingredients in place of, well, actual lemons. This happens all the time with processed keto foods. The worst offenders being cauliflower pizza crust and cauliflower chips. Cauliflower, after all, is the new avocado. Everyone wants a piece of this once overlooked vegetable. Just look at my most popular video, Keto Cauliflower Melt. By printing the word cauliflower in big bold letters, food providers are riding the keto wave without doing their due diligence. So be sure you do yours. If you find a food that looks promising, ignore the name and packaging and immediately refer to the nutrition label. There, you'll find everything you need to know to determine whether or not it's actually keto friendly. Mistake number two, ignoring serving size. Speaking of nutrition labels, always be sure to check the serving size before you indulge. For example, Rebel Ice Cream, arguably the best keto ice cream on the market, prints its net carb count per pint on the front of every one of its containers. At an average of six net carbs a piece, it's a treat that I enjoy in its entirety every once in a while. But not all low carb ice creams are created equal. I once purchased a competing ice cream boldly labeled Keto. Following my own advice, I checked the label only to find that it was seven net carbs per serving and that each serving was a quarter of a pint. Had I treated myself to it the way I have with Rebel Ice Cream, it's whopping 28 net carbs would have been enough to knock me out of ketosis. Not cool. Mistake number three, not subtracting fiber and sugar alcohols. Speaking of net carbs, the last mistake that newcomers to keto tend to make is confusing total carbs with net carbs. Put simply, total carbs refers to all the carbs in one serving of food. And net carbs refers to the portion of that food that your body actually digests. For the purpose of weight loss, you only need to worry about the foods you digest, whereas everything else literally passes right through you. To come up with this number, simply subtract the carbs from fiber and sugar alcohols from the total number of carbs per serving. For example, let's take a look at the nutrition label on this bag of stevia sweetened milk chocolate chips. As you can see, one serving equals one tablespoon or 15 grams. If you don't have an electronic food scale, consider getting one. They're inexpensive and super useful. You can find a link to one down below. Each serving has nine total carbs, with four coming from dietary fiber and three from erythritol. After subtracting the fiber and sugar alcohol from the total carb count, you're left with two net carbs per serving. Not bad. Also, these taste great with walnuts. Now keep in mind, this is in regards to weight loss. Some sugar alcohols while not fully digestible, may nevertheless impact your blood sugar levels. If you're diabetic or pre-diabetic, it's important that you consult with your healthcare providers to determine which are safest for you. Remember, a lot of people see keto as a fad diet. And so a lot more people are gonna try to make money off that fad by doing anything they can to make their products appear more keto friendly than they actually are. If you can avoid these three common mistakes, nothing will be able to stand in the way of you achieving your keto goals. Once you get the hang of it, you'll likely never make those kinds of mistakes again. But there is one mistake sometimes I even still make, and that's not eating enough salt. Salt is an extremely important nutrient that has an unfair reputation here in the States. In and of itself, it isn't bad for us. It's the abuse of salt in crappy processed foods 
that is. Because it functions as both a preservative and a flavor enhancer, salt has been abused to such an extent by the processed food industry that anyone living on a standard American diet is likely consuming way too much of it. But on keto, those foods are cut out of our diet and with them, the additional salt intake. So why is this important? Carbs retain water and when carbs go, so goes a significant amount of water weight. By helping us retain water, salt compensates for the sudden lack of carbs in our new sexy fat-fueled bodies and is therefore 100% essential. Also, you'll know if you're deficient. The migraines and stomach pain that stem from sodium deficiency are swift and merciless. The good news is, should that happen, a pinch of salt in a glass is usually enough to do the trick. My advice, spend a few extra bucks on a good sea salt or better yet, Himalayan sea salt. Both are loaded with additional minerals your body will love, and they taste better too. And now for a keto question of the day. Can you tell me which sugar alcohol is extremely toxic to dogs? So much so, it can actually kill them? Let me know in the comments below, and I'll announce the first person to get it right in my next video. Thank you for watching Keto Crush, your channel for eating healthy, feeling great, looking hot.